When it comes to customers, you have to be able to keep the line long or short. When you see a line like this, where you got four or five people lined up, is this something that you want? Is there a way, do you have your truck set up so you can make a line or get rid of the line, depending if it's too long? Can you talk about that and the setup of your truck? Basically, the food truck business here, I like to have a line. And the reason why I like to have a line is because it draws a crowd. It draws a crowd. And what I basically do on my truck, guys, I actually give tasters out of my food. I give tasters out of my chicken and sausage bisque, and I give a taste of the chicken and sausage jambalaya with gumbo on top. And what I do is I give tastes of my food, and once people have a taste of my food, it's like uh, going fishing. You put the worm on the hook, you're going to get a bite. When designing your truck, it's very important to know your menu. Nowadays, to, to, to get involved in the food truck business, the first thing you need to know is really know your menu. Um, knowing your menu is going to be the key factor for it will help us develop the truck for you we're not we're not chefs so it's really up to the customer to develop the menu the menu is the most important thing with the menu we could actually implement the actual equipment uh, what it's going to take for us uh, the equipment they're going to need to have in the truck to create that menu uh, stoves charbroilers salamanders refrigerators whatnot but without that key component, we're not gonna know how to manufacture the truck. It is crucial for the customer to know the menu and to know the equipment they're gonna need on the truck to provide that menu. A wrap is, it's kind of wallpaper for your truck. It's what they put on the outside of it to make it look nice. 